Yeah, hello. Welcome to Daniels. I'm Sam Dufo. I'm an assistant professor in the teaching stream. Uh, I coordinate the Comprehensive Studio, the second year of uh, EMARC program here at Daniels. I am also the principal of uh, SVN Architects and Planners in, in Toronto. So reading, uh, the last book I read is called The Grand Voyage au Pays des Hurons. It's a book written 400 years ago is about a French missionary traveling to Canada and writing about his experience living with indigenous communities and lifestyle, and etc. It's a, it's a really fascinating account of the life um, as it was at the time here in Canada. I, I read daily, I read books mostly when I'm in, in transit, um, in the evening when things are a bit more quiet at home, uh, and this is my daily routine. Otherwise, I, I try to carve in the summer uh, a bit more of a good time for, for bigger books and, and things that, uh, um, that are worth reading um, because I have a bit more time during the day to do that. <clears throat> um, you know, what do I read? Uh, what I typically read? Um, as an architect, I, I like to read about very different topics, uh, history, ecology, art, politics, of course, architecture, um, in our profession, it, it's important to know a little about a lot of different things. So I, I want to uh, be a bit of a generalist always uh, through my reading. Um, and this really helps you develop a good vision for the world uh, because it informs what we do, but also simply, you know, to have good conversation with the very different people we encounter uh, in our profession. So whether it's an engineer, a politician, a builder, a client, with whom I need good dinner conversation to really have a, a wide um, knowledge and area topic to be able to talk about this is important. This means that I read books, magazine, uh, such as the, the New Yorker, uh, but also, of course, um, a lot of news. I do like to read on paper uh, simply because it keeps me away from my phone. Which I, uh, which I tend to be uh, uh, looking at a bit too much. And I also increasingly read while walking or driving, um, whether it is listening to audiobook or podcast that have really become um, a good way for me to quote unquote read. What is the book that changed my life? Uh, a couple of years ago, I read uh, This Changes Everything by Naomi Klein. It is a book about environmental activism and their urgent need to, to act now. Um, and through this need and through this book, I think trying also to rethink pedagogies and the way we practice architecture, architecture and transition into a low carbon economy. Thank you for listening.